This year marks the 275th anniversary of our next guest's family in America. The Gordon family originally came from Northern Ireland to establish a tobacco trade with merchants in Whitehaven, England, and subsequently founded the Gordonsville Tavern, which was frequented by George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Today, Gordon Atlantic operates as a single-family office, an economic development fund based in New York City, and pursues economic development in 18 global markets. This year, the family is launching SELF, a new economic development, sports, entertainment, and leisure fund. And here to tell us about it is the CEO of Gordon Atlantic, William Hyatt Gordon. William, welcome. Thank you for having me. William, tell us the origin of SELF. After the collapse of Lehman Brothers and the lack of capital available globally, Gordon Atlantic was forced to take a hard look at how it would structure activities to continue economic development in the wake of a barren landscape. The firm did this primarily by concentrating credit facilities on the purchase of discounted bank notes and other bank instruments that could be easily sold to develop a margin. A percentage of this margin is reserved for economic development, and the remainder of it is reinvested to develop future funds to further sponsor economic development activity. Gordon Atlantic also reviewed which types of developments fared better during economic collapses. These markets included sports, entertainment, leisure, energy, health care, and senior care development. Now, let's shift topics here. What are the key features of a Gordon Atlantic Economic Development Fund? Generally speaking, the Economic Development Fund is designed to replace debt equity-based financing as a requirement to further economic development activity. Unfortunately, there's a herd mentality amongst banks in an economic crisis, and they are unreliable for broad economic stimulus. So the primary goal of the Economic Development Fund is to produce equity financing as opposed to capital lending. This way, jobs continue to be created without regard to bank lending policy, tax dollars, or an ever-increasing federal deficit. There's a principal goal to create jobs today and profits tomorrow within the Economic Development Fund. 85% of the funds raised move directly into economic development or reinvestment, less cost and marketing activities. Globally, all funds are distributed on a population basis based on the population of the United States in each fund. Therefore, per capita investment outside of the United States does not exceed per capita investment in the United States. And are there any special projects you have in mind related to self? Sure. 2020 will mark the 400th anniversary of the Gordons in Northern Ireland, and we are currently planning two very exciting projects in the Belfast area, including SHED, a state-of-the-art convertible exhibition hall and studio production space, as well as Stockyard, 750,000 square feet of premium outlet shopping and home to two hotels, Rhythm, the music center of the island of Ireland, which will be a facility along the lines of the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, or Experience Music Project, and Aqua Vita, or Living Waters, the aquarium of the island of Ireland. Well, William, what an exciting time for your company. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you again for having me. It's been great. Gordon Atlantic is on the web at gordonatlantic.com. That's gordonatlantic.com.